What's up, Sheen Magazine? It is Big Mo. I'm here at Refinery 29's Unbothered, the Glow Up 2022. This is an amazing event. Dozens of vendors, dozens of performances, dozens of panels, and not lacking at all in the black excellence. Be sure to check us out at SheenMagazine.com and on Instagram at Sheen Magazine. And be sure to follow me, your favorite media host, She is Big Mo. This is Sheen Magazine, and we'll check you next time. I am here with one of the most amazing beautiful i can't even look at her right now but she is one of the most inspiring content creators out right now miss Simi moonlight how are you doing oh beautiful God, thank you so much i'm doing amazing i'm doing amazing how are you i'm in shock but we're gonna move right on so talk to us about this experience tell us where we're at tell us what the vibes are for those who don't know yes yeah, so we are at um, for Finder 29 Unbothered's Juneteenth weekend event. Okay, currently we are in the Target Creator Studio. It's the vibe in here. It's very cute, very chic. Okay, given very retro. And yeah, today we're just vibing, chilling, hanging with all the amazing black people, amazing creators, and spreading good vibes. I love it. This event itself is a celebration of blackness. So with your content, you emphasize a lot of not only romanticizing your self-love, but also highlighting your self-love journey. Talk to us about what it was like embarking on that journey and how it's been so far, because you know, you know we don't come to an end. But talk to us about how it's been so far and what inspired you to share your self-love journey with the world. Yeah, so I think initially my goal was to just make sure that people felt like they weren't alone in their journey and also showcase the very complex and sometimes messy aspects of loving yourself and understanding yourself and learning about yourself and i really was not expecting it to turn into what it has turned into but i'm also very very grateful because i think all of us can now see ourselves in each other and understand that Self-love doesn't have to have to look a certain way, doesn't have to be a certain way, it can just exist as you see fit and it'll grow as you grow. Absolutely. We starting off with manifestations. What's up, Sheen Magazine? I am your girl Big Mo here with the beautiful, the fiery. You may know her as Miss Roulette, but we are here with Miss Gail Bean. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm Thank blessed. you for having me. I know about Sheen now. I love Sheen. Period. <laughs> so, I want to talk to you about being here today at Refinery29's Unbothered, celebrating Juneteenth, and not just celebrating Juneteenth, but you are in your hometown of the ATL. What a talk city. What a girl. Concert. This a whole nother planet on its own, 404 forever. So, talk to us about the elements of Atlanta and your upbringing that helped you channel the character of Roulette, because she is like nothing we've seen on P-Valley. Listen, I keep telling people, Roulette ain't like nothing that anybody has seen on P-Valley, but it's because She's so Atlanta. I, I I lend something of me to every character, and I literally gave, I feel like I gave the whole city to Roulette. I wanted to put that in her, embed that in her, let that be a part of her from the, her fieriness, her attitude, her go get the bag. Because one thing we do down here, we hustle and we grind. I can say that that's what's taken me so far along in my career, and I, I got that from the city. Um, <laughs> Just everything, her strip club etiquette, her confidence as a dancer, that's some real Atlanta stuff. Absolutely, and talk to us about what it means because you were just up here with makeup artist uh, Jay Danielle. Talk to us about what it meant to be able to channel those attributes, as you mentioned, as black women, a lot of things that society deems as ghetto. How does it feel to be able to not only highlight them, but to turn them into fashion and turn them into film? So. Jay Danelle is amazing um, and is responsible for all of our looks. She's our makeup department head. And just, I'm not a makeup artist. I don't do makeup. I barely wear makeup unless somebody else does it. So she was able to pull out all the fine, little, simple, important things and make sure that was highlighted or that was seen. Whether it be a wing or a liner or a lip or a stone, or a glitter, or a bling here, or a bling there, or a certain type of nails where it's the smoke or the fire. Or... She was able to bring so much, and it just, it's special. It just really makes you feel seen. It makes you feel like you're not alone. It makes you feel celebrated. It makes you feel loved as a black woman. Um, and I just think she was, the... everybody that we had did their part in such a way where nobody else could have came and did it any better. 
y'all it is hot here in the a so you know i had to come over to the ulta beauty beauty lounge we have so many amazing products here y'all they got fancy they got juvia's place they got everything you need to get your black girl magic on and we have had an amazing time thus far i was able to even catch up with miss gail bean who plays roulette on p valley be sure you stick around with us as we're here at the glow up 22 and i'll be sure to see you next time we're here representing ultra it's been an amazing day we've had concerts for makeup skin hair it's been an amazing day giving free products away the guests have been amazing juneteenth celebration just been awesome can't wait for tomorrow today was fabulous tomorrow's gonna be incredible come see us with none other than the amazing miss bonita jelaine recording artist just, just phenomenal. How you doing today? I'm doing blessed. I'm just so happy to be here. The vibes is crazy. crazy. All right, you excited? <laughs> you excited to play this first round of Shane Cookout questions? Let's, let's go. I'm here for the cookout. I'm here for it. Let's go. All right, we are here in the ATL, so I'm gonna give you an easy one. You ready? Let's go. What was the name of the infamous skating rink mentioned in ATL? Absolutely shameful. I know. I know. I know. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is it's that your final answer? Yes, I, I was being a blind for a moment. It's okay. I got it. Cascade, of course. How can I not? I've been there plenty of times. Let's go. Absolutely. It was Cascade Family yeah. Skating Rink. In the movie, Baby Boy, where was Rodney calling from? He was calling from jail. Oh, now, now, don't act like they all been just that easy answers. Yeah, that was just so easy. Like, jail, he's calling from jail. That is absolutely right. Our boy Rodney was calling from jail and had to come sleep on Yvette's couch. <laughs> but talk to us, Miss Blossom, what's coming up for you and where can we find all your music at? Um, my music is on all platforms at Big Boss Blossom. I just dropped a new single called Like That in Real Life. Go stream that and we live. I'm here with the life of the party at the moment, Miss Brittany. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. <laughs> so we are going to get into another round of Sheen cookout questions. You ready? Yeah. Okay. All right. So in the film Poetic Justice, uh -huh. what city were Lucky and Justice traveling to? Um, shit. Lucky as in, as in Tupac. Yes. So, um, Poetic Justice as in Janet Jackson. Okay. 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 I'm leading up to it. Oakland. Period. Period. That is right. <laughs> you never know what you're going to see here at Sheen Magazine. It has been another round of Sheen Cookout Questions. I am your host, Big Mo, and we signing out. Don't play with me. Do it, OJ.